Well, hello everyone. Welcome to yet another Counter-Strike 2 video. I've been having a lot of fun uh, playing Counter-Strike again. A little bit of a brief history of Counter-Strike on this channel. I started making videos on CSGO back in like 2014, end of 2014. Uh, played it pretty much religiously up until like some point in 2016 and uh, grew tired of the toxic people all of the cheating and smurfing and all that kind of stuff stopped playing the game for a while played it maybe a couple times here and there in the years afterwards and now we're here with counter-strike 2 it has brought me back in i am straight up addicted once again today's video is a little bit different we're not going to do any gameplay or anything like that we're actually going to take a look at my inventory quick little side note uh, i have two dogs in here with me right now you may hear them making the occasional noise and being dogs. So hopefully that doesn't bother anybody. They might make funny appearances in the background. I have a video broadcast right now uh, taking my background out of the video. So you might see them clipping in here and there in the background, which would be kind of funny if it does happen. But we'll see what my, we'll see what my dogs decide to do. But anyways, I thought this would be a cool little series to start up. Basically, whenever I get some interesting new skins, I'll make one of these videos to showcase them. I've had some pretty cool skins over the years. Most notably my favorite skin that unfortunately when I stopped playing Counter-Strike I sold all the skins that I had, but my favorite skin was the M4A1S Cyrex. I had a factory new M4A1S Cyrex, my all time favorite M4A1S skin. Sold it, don't have it anymore. Uh, here and there I'll probably add money to my Steam funds to kind of save up to get the skins that I do want to get. I did do a little case opening and I got absolutely freaking just absolute garbage in that unboxing. So I probably won't be doing too many case openings. I'd rather just put some money in my Steam account occasionally, save up to actually purchase the skins that I want. But anyways, without further ado, we're going to go through my current inventory as of today, which today is the 11th of November, 2023. We're going to go through my inventory and take a look at all the skins that I have. As you can see, this is pretty much it. Don't have too many skins. I'll kind of talk about what my goals are. I would love to have a semi-decent stat track skin for every weapon in the game. Because I really, I don't know why, I really enjoy the stat track. I like tracking the number of kills I get per weapon. So that's kind of what I've done here. You'll see quite a bit of stat track guns. Not super crazy good skins or anything like that. But... Just stat track variants of most of these guns. I would like to get better stat track variants, so like we'll, we'll kind of go through that once I go through some of these guns, but this is what I have right now. So we're gonna go ahead and kick this off. We have the first skin here. This is the most recent one I've got. This is the Souvenir MP7 Sunbaked from the Anubis collection. It's a well-worn quality. And uh, it's Souvenir, so it's got these uh, stickers on it. It's not a stat track, but I just wanted to have some kind of skin on my MP7. So I don't use the gun like super, super often, but this is the skin I just decided to go ahead and get. It was pretty cheap. I don't remember how much it was, but it's kind of like a, a gold camo kind of looking skin. Like if you're talking about like Call of Duty or something like that, it kind of looks like gold camo. So I thought that'd be pretty cool, but I don't use the MP7 too much, but eventually I'd like to get a stat track variant of that and the same thing for the xm 1014 i have the uh, blue spruce skin minimal wear i don't use this gun very much i really don't so i just picked a relatively cheap couple cents worth skin just to have on this gun so it's not the default skin nothing super crazy but now we get into a couple stat tracks i do actually like the galil a lot of people do not care for the galil but i myself find it to be a pretty pretty decent gun to use haven't gotten a kill with it yet but this is the uh stat track galil ar destroyer uh, decent skin definitely not my favorite i think i used to have a rocket pop that was what i used primarily but it's not a terrible looking skin it's not the worst thing in the world um it's okay it is um field tested but even for field tested it doesn't look that bad all right so after the galil we have the two starting pistols I've chosen for both the T side and the CT side. Starting off, we have the Stat Track Glock 18 Winter Eyes, which is field tested. And for field tested, I, I can't really see any noticeable scuffs on it. I haven't gotten a kill with it yet, just got it. But that is, it's actually a pretty nice looking 
uh, Glock skin. I don't really care for too many of the Glock skins out there, but honestly, this one's not that bad. And the same thing for this P2000. Uh, I've chosen to use the P2000 just because it has a bit more ammo capacity compared to the USPS. But this is the Stat Track P2000 Gnarled, I guess is how you say that. It's minimal wear. And this skin is clean, man. I just really like the design on the skin. And again, I don't really see any noticeable wear. I don't I, I don't know where the minimal wear side of it comes from. Before I had this one, I had a non-stat non track version that was field tested. And it looks just the same. So I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. Being in line with the pistols, we got three pistols lined up right here. This is my Stat Track Tech 9 Fubar field tested. Uh, this was, like I said, I'm just trying to get Stat Track versions of every gun. This is not a super cool skin, but it is Stat Track. It's got a cool little, like, uh, I don't know what you call that right there, but it looks cool. Uh, it's not the worst skin, it's not the best skin. Better than a Sandstorm, so you know. I'll give it that. Same thing with the CZ, Distressed, which is a uh, well-worn. I just got it because it was cheap. It's not terrible, but it's not super amazing. Again, I don't even use the CZ too much, but I did decide to get a Stat Trek skin for it. But the Deagle here is probably the best-looking pistol out of a, out of the bunch that I have here. This is a Stat Trek Desert Eagle Trigger Discipline, which is well-worn. And for well-worn, I mean, there is some scuff on this one. You can see uh, there's a bit of scuff on it, but it's not bad. I kind of like this design. Uh, I do watch a YouTuber, Face Jev. I'm sure a lot of people watch Face Jev. His whole deal is to color pink. So that's kind of why I got this gun. Because I'm like, hey, you know, Face Jev would use this gun. So I'll I'll be the one to use this gun as well. And it's not bad. Uh, definitely not the best skin. I used to have a Stat Track Bronze Deco. And that was my go-to at the time. But this was relatively cheap, not super expensive. So I picked it up and I, I meant to say too, um, for some of these skins, what if I recall the skins I've had previously, I will say them. I think for the Glock, I don't know if I ever even had a good Glock skin. Uh, the P2000, I used to have, I think it was Granite Marbleized was the skin. I used to call it the Cookies and Creams gun because it kind of looked like a, a Cookies and Cream Hersey's bar. Uh, Tech 9, I think I always just ran with the Sandstorm because I got a Stat Track Sandstorm pretty early on. CZ, don't remember what I had for that. Uh, like I said, Desert Eagle, we had the uh, Bronze Deco. I unboxed it, actually. Uh, it was Stat Track. I think it was like field tested, probably. But now we go on to the M4A1S. I've already said that I had a factory new Cyrex. Beautiful, beautiful skin. Uh, I didn't have Stat Track, though, but I have Stat Track now, and I actually really like this skin. This is the Stat Track MP4A1S m 4 S field tested. And this skin's actually super cool. I'm usually not a big fan of the color green, but I don't know. Something about this skin just looks super cool. I don't know. It's just the design. Uh, super, super cool skin. Uh, what did I say this was? I'm already forgetting. This is field tested, and for field tested, it's not terrible. There's some scuff. Uh, where was I? I think there's some scuff. I thought it was up here, but eh, maybe there isn't as much scuff as I thought there was. Oh, there's a there's a little bit. For field tested, this isn't terrible. And it's the M4A1S, and it looks cool. So uh, it doesn't really compare to the uh, Cyrex, but it's good enough. In fact, I gotta look at it again. I really I really like this skin. I definitely would rather have a Stat Trek Cyrex, but factory new Stat Trek Cyrex is like almost $200 so you know that ain't gonna be happening for a minute but we'll move on to the AK-47 which I don't think I ever had a Stat Trek AK I used to have an AK elite build because it was a blue just like this one is and I was gonna get the elite build but this one was a bit cheaper so I just went with this one this is a field tested Stat Trek AK-47 Uncharted N nothing really to write home about this skin it's really nothing special um, I, I'm honestly not super big on this skin, but I really mainly just want the stat track capabilities. Um, so that's what we have here. And it's an okay skin. I mean, it could be worse. It could look like vomit. It doesn't really look like vomit. It just looks like somebody just engraved some decals into it pretty much. But it's not a terrible, terrible skin, but obviously there's much better. Like a stat track elite build would look a lot better than this. But that's, that's pretty much that. We got the MAC-10. This is a factory new souvenir MAC-10 Sienna 
Damask, I guess is how you say that. Uh, I used to have a, I think it was a candy apple or a red apple or some kind of apple named skin that was red, solid red, that was super cool. I would have preferred to have that, but uh, again, I just wanted a skin for most every gun. I don't use the MAC-10 a whole lot. Eventually, I'll replace this with a stat track, but for now, I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty ugly. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty it's pretty it's pretty ugly. Uh, it's got some cool stickers on it though because it's a souvenir. So I just said, eh, it's cheap. What the hell? Might as well. Same thing here with the MP5. Uh, back when I made videos on CS:GO, the MP5 wasn't even a fucking gun, <laughs> but it's a gun now. And I got a super cheap skin for this one. This is MP5 SD Dirt Drop minimal wear and it is absolutely disgusting it literally just looks like somebody dropped this in the sand dunes and picked it up and didn't really dust it off it's really nothing crazy about this skin it's it's straight up just ugly but it's a skin and it eventually will be replaced with a uh, stat track but that's that's that uh, the m4a4 i gotta scratch my forehead goddamn um <laughs> the m4a4 I really didn't use too much back when I played CSGO a lot. I did start to use it a little bit, and I had a couple of varying skins. I had a Griffin, I had a Evil Dymo, and I think I had one other one that I can't recall at this time. Uh, and even talking about the m 4 ones I think I even had a Nitro at one point, and I may have had a Basilisk. I can't super really recall. It was like six fucking years ago at this point, but we got the Stat Trek M4A4 Poly Mag, well worn. I actually might not ever replace this one because I might get a better quality, but this is a super solid fucking skin. It literally just makes it look more like an actual gun the military would use. Uh, you got the khaki kind of color. I guess that's how you say that. I don't fucking know, but the coolest thing about this gun to me is the mag. Being able to see, I don't actually think that's, uh, I, I haven't tested to see if this actually showcases your bullets fucking depleting. I completely doubt it does. It's most likely just there for show, but it looks fucking cool. Like, I wouldn't mind having just a fact new version of this skin because uh, it's got some scuff on the uh, stock and uh, a little bit dirt kind of looking on the, uh, main frame here of the gun but honestly i could definitely go for a fact new stat track version of this and be completely happy and not have to get a griffin or anything like that this gun i've actually been using it a lot more too as you can tell by my 60 kills on it um really like an em4a4 not sure why i didn't give it as much of a chance back in the day all right next up we have uh the call of duty guns as people at least back in the day used to call them this is the stat track aug Trika. I cannot remember for the life of me what Aug skin I had six years ago, uh, but this one's not too bad. Well worn, and let's take a look at it here. It's not bad. I mean, it's got scuff. Obviously, it's got some scuff on it, but not a terrible skin. It's got a sticker. I think that's a sticker. Uh, it's, it's not a bad skin. I, I have no issues using this skin. I could totally just rock with a fact new version of this skin. I just wish I could remember what skin I had before. Uh, obviously, 79 kills on this. I love using the AUG and SG. I know they're technically considered the Call of Duty guns, but I, I feel like I'm pretty good with it. So I like to use them. And of course, speaking of the SG, we have this one. Now this skin, I would like to upgrade. Um, I think they have a Cyrex for the SG. I think, and I would really enjoy having that but this is a stat track sg 553 old oh, rusty uh field tested it's just it's just the skin bro it's, it's like i just got it for the stat track capabilities bro that's pretty much it uh, it's pretty ugly not super attractive but it works and it's got the stat track capabilities and that's really at the end of the day all that matters right uh, but i love these two guns I use them a lot. Gun I don't use too often, but I'm trying to start using more is the 5.7. This is another case of just grabbing a random skin for it, but it's actually not a terrible skin. This is 5.7 Quint. Uh, not bad. I would totally uh, get a fact new version of the skin. Uh, stat track. Uh, it's got a little bit of scuff here, but honestly, having this factory new, I'd be perfectly content with just keeping this 
as my 5-7 skin, of course, with stat track, of course. And we have another kind of just, hey, I want a skin for this kind of deal. We have the uh, Souvenir Nova Mandrel Minimal Wear. I really only got this because when I first started playing Counter-Strike again about a month, two months, month and a half ago, however long it was, I was sucking major asshole. So when I didn't have a lot of money in the game during a round, I would buy a Nova and just try to go for shotgun kills. So I did put a skin on it. This is the, I think I just said Mandrel Minimal Wear. And it's, it's pretty scuff. Again, I don't really like main this gun or anything, so I actually probably wouldn't care what stat track skin I had on this. I'd probably just put anything on it, but it's not terrible looking. If I knew it actually probably would look pretty nice, even though for minimal wear, right? I said this is minimal wear, right? Even for minimal wear, I would say this is pretty terrible for minimal wear. Probably one of the worst minimal wear versions you can get. I mean, look at the amount of scuff on the, uh, the pump right there that's pretty that's pretty terrible uh, I actually meant to sell this but this was the M4A1S skin that you can see me using in my last uh, three I think it's three counter-strike videos I've uploaded before this one this was the skin I was using I just wanted a skin to throw my M4 at the time so I bought this abomination uh, really not a good skin at all I'm probably gonna end up getting rid of it probably just gonna sell that bad boy right there we're getting down to the last few weapons here. Uh, I used to love using the Scout, and I still do. I don't think I'm as good at this game now as I was back then, but I think in the end, the more I practice, now that I'm actually applying things that I didn't do back then to how I play now, I think I'm gonna end up being better now at the game than I was six years ago. So hopefully we'll be able to see that in my live streams and the videos from the live streams that will be posted on this channel. Hopefully we'll be able to see me improve a lot. I did get a pretty nasty fucking, stat tra uh, fucking SSG flick in one of those videos. I think it was the second one I uploaded. Uh, but this is Stat Track SSG 08 Mainframe 001. I'm pretty sure back in the day I just had a Stat Track Abyss. Uh, this is probably better than an Abyss. Uh, pretty cool looking skin. Nothing crazy about it. 82 kills on it right now. What did I say this was? Battle Scar. This is Battle Scar. And uh, yeah, I don't fucking. I don't see it, brother. I, I don't know. What is this supposed to be brighter? If it's factory new? It's, it looks factory new to me, bro. So I'm probably content with this as my SSG. Uh, but moving on, uh, we have the uh, Stat Track P250 cassette. Don't recall what I had six years ago for this gun. But I do like using the P250. And this is actually a pretty cool skin. Again, in one of those cases where I wouldn't mind just having a stat track fact new of this skin at some point. It's just a solid skin. I mean, I love the uh, texture and color on the grip. And the top's pretty cool looking. Fact new on the, uh, on the slide here would look pretty cool. I'll be honest. Uh, down to our last two here. Uh, P90 is fucking awesome. <laughs> I don't use it all the time, as you can tell by my 22 kills, but this is just one of those cases, again, of me just snagging a stat track skin and slapping it on the motherfucker. But this is a stat track P90 Freight, probably one of the ugliest P90s. I don't know. Well, actually, now that I look at it, it's not that bad. Just because it says more skills, more kills, that's, that's that makes this skin at least 5% more cool than it was before. Um, I don't know how much better this would look back new. Obviously, dream skin for this would be a P90 Asimov. Um, but is that going to happen? Probably not. So we're just going <laughs> to we'll probably stick with this bad boy right here. I really only use the P90 when I don't have a lot of cash on around. And I want to do a fast rush on some people. That's when I grab myself a P90. All right, and now we get down to the final skin that I have currently in Counter-Strike 2. Arguably, my favorite gun to use in the game, the gun I've used the most on the channel. I used to have a Stat Track Opworm God with a thousand plus kills. Sold that thing, but so now with the Op, we have a Stat Track Op Capillary. Uh, this was a kin, one of my first, obviously, clearly this is one of the first skins that I bought. It really is the first skin that I bought coming back to CS. It is um, not bad looking. What did I say this was? Did I even say it? It's it's field tested. It's field tested. 
not a bad op skin to be honest i think the worm god looks better of course but uh this was cheaper than a worm god so i snagged it mainly to have the stat track because i missed having my op kills tracked as you can see i have 566 currently gonna be going for that thousand plus uh probably after the death match in cs2 is not as good as it was back in counter-strike global offensive it, it's all free for all and just spawns are terrible and it's it's just not it's not the same so I, it might take me a little bit longer to get a thousand plus op kills this time around but arguably my favorite gun in the game the gun i tried to use the most that i'm probably the best with although i am unlike six years ago i didn't spend much time six years ago trying to improve my performance with pistols and assault rifles and stuff like that i just focused on using the op but nowadays i'm trying to improve myself using every type of weapon in the game not just the op so i think my ak performance my m4 performance has improved compared to six years ago still not perfect i need to play the game a lot more but obviously the op is still op it's the king for me it's the gun i use the most and it's the gun i'm probably the best with um I don't know if I'm as good with the op as I was six years ago. I was doing some crazy shit six years ago. I don't know if I have that down quite yet, but I use this gun a lot, obviously. 566 kills. But uh, the dream skin for an op would be an Asimov as well. Uh, but <laughs> it ain't gonna be happening most likely, but that probably, that probably won't happen. All right, so that was my current Counter-Strike 2 inventory and why I purchased most of these skins. Um, I think my top skins so far that I currently have, I really like the two starter pistols. The Gnarled is definitely the best out of the two. I really like the M4A1S, the M4A4, and of course the Op. Uh, pretty great skins for all those guns. So as I get more weapon skins and as I replace weapon skins, we will see more episodes of this series. But this is... Well, we're gonna leave it for now. It might take a while before we see another episode because I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to put the, that much money in this game, brother. I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to go broke playing Counter Strike 2 again. Okay, I ain't try. We ain't trying to do that up in here. But that is gonna wrap it up for now. That was my Counter Strike 2 inventory. So if you are a Counter Strike 2 player, let's go kick some ass in the game. Have some fun. Work with your teammates. Damn it. Don't be one of those people that don't talk. You got to use your microphone, okay? Work with your teammate. Get some frags. Defuse some bombs. Plant some bombs. Most importantly, in Counter-Strike 2, have fun. And do not go broke opening cases. That would be bad. You got to feed yourself before you gamble, okay? <laughs> don't, don't get it twisted. got to feed yourself. got to put a roof over your head. Before you fucking go go in there and start trying to get some reds and cases that are probably just going to give you booze. Okay. Uh, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next Counter-Strike 2 video. Have yourself a good day. Let me fucking work up in the streets. New year, new me, and I'm bringing the heat. Don't walk in my path and try to stop me. Because I'm speeding in my new 370Z. New job, new car, and a wonderful fucking career. And there's a fight on my way to the top of my fist. And if you get in my way, you're going to get fucking hit. Get into the top is the first thing on my list. Switch back to the fucking COVID that I've had. Rapid since.